researching it as a, a doctoral student. Mm -hmm. I needed something. And I'd always heard people talk about and say like, you know, drama queen or addicted to drama. And I was like, it's such a common term. And mm -hmm. then when you go to look it up in the DSM or any even any like formalized places where you could get sort of peer reviewed information or anywhere, really, it just wasn't available. And, you know, and also recognizing my own sort of inner addiction to drama mm -hmm. uh, as a kid, as a young adult, into my 20s when I worked in the arts. I was a, um, I used to be an opera director and choreographer. Oh, and uh, <laughs> there's a little bit of drama in there. Literally. <laughs> uh, literally. <laughs> and, um, and my own healing process within that was really part of that inspiration too. and. And so the book took, you know, its own transformational process of looking at and doing a lot of research, a lot of uh, qualitative and quantitative research about like, what is this? Why is it such a common thing? We all know someone who's addicted to drama, never ourselves, never, never. never. It's never. always our mother-in-law right. or our right. sibling or, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and why is it such a common concept, but just unrecognized or un, unresearched? Mm -hmm. And so it really took several years to do the research on that and write this book. And it really morphed into also like, how is our social climate, mm -hmm. our social media climate included in that really creating the conditions for an endemic of an addiction to drama. So uh, we might start seeing an expanded version of sort of individualized patterns, but basically becoming a generalized norm in our culture. This is Lynn Fraser with the Radical Recovery Summit airing January 13th to 22nd, 2023. Please go to radicalrecoverysummit.com to view the clips and the interviews.